Hi everyone, I'm Sol Suarez and I'm here in the traditional territory of the Tronde Quechen in Dawson City and I'm here with Lucas Cobbler who is the owner and creator behind Yukon 3D Solutions. Hi Lucas. Hi, yes, uh, thank you. I founded Yukon 3D Solutions back in 2019. I'm currently a mechanical engineering student. I'm a born and raised Yukoner and that's where I founded my business and where it's still operating uh, to this day. Since you're a young entrepreneur and a soon-to-be engineer, what would you give as advice for people who are in your in your age group and that are thinking of uh, also investing in their passions? I would definitely encourage them to do so. If you have an idea and you have the, the inspiration um, to go after a passion, that's kind of 90% of the battle. You should invest in yourself because that's what you're doing essentially if you're starting your own business. Being born and raised, in the Yukon, it offers you a lot of freedoms that people in bigger cities perhaps don't have. There's quite a bit of a limitation. So I guess if you want to pursue a career as specific as what you do in your field, you have to have a, a clear vision. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't uh, trade it in for growing up in a the city. There's a lot of opportunities up here in the Yukon that we take for granted and we don't really realize until we go away from the Yukon and kind of look back and see what makes it really great. Founding a business has definitely been a lot easier in the Yukon than it would be in other places. So what made you want to start a 3D printing business? In high school, we got a 3D printer at our school. I was one of the first people that started playing around with it. I was definitely very eager to learn. And um, very quickly, that kind of grew outside of uh, school hours. I got my own printer and I started learning uh, 3D design a little more, kind of developed this expertise that's uh, pretty rare in the in the Yukon still. I decided to uh, found a business around 3D printing. Now it's kind of grown to uh, include some design advice and stuff like that. How do you see your business growing in the future? Do you have any plans already? Oh, I'm definitely still very, very early. You know, I'm still operating my business, absolutely. Um, when clients ask for parts to be made, I'm happy to help. You know, due to uh, being in school still full-time, uh, currently on internship full-time, I haven't had a chance to really properly grow my business further. That doesn't mean that I don't want to. Definitely have a lot of plans going forward. For example, I want to I want to take a more proactive role on the sustainability side of things. I really want to close the waste cycle of all the products that I create. You know, be be my own recycling center. Thank you so much, Lucas. That's amazing. It's wonderful to talk to you.